Hey there, what's up? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to our channel. And this is the first video, I mean, second video of our exciting series, Bill Jarvis in real life. And today in this video, we're going to make our virtual assistant to speak in some realistic voice for free. So this is an important step while creating your own virtual assistant. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. All right, so this is my working directory. So let me create a folder called head. And inside that head, let me create a file called speak.py. All right, so to make the virtual assistant speak out a natural voice, we're going to use this website. All right, so if we use the API, then we need to pay some amount. So what I'm going to do is I'll just use this input form. Like here, you can input your text and click on this play button to listen the demo of the voice so what i'm going to do is whenever i submit this form then it will hit a url like it will send a get or post matter method in the url to retrieve the audio and return that audio to the user so what i'm going to do is i'll just look out for that url and i'll automate that url from the python by using request mode all right so first let me give it a uh, text like hello i am jarvis all right so let me go on inspect and click on network to see what is happening whenever i submit this form all right so let me submit this form then you can see something hello okay so it is sending a get request to this url and then we are getting the output all right so let me copy this URL and open this URL in a new tab. Hello, I am Jeremy. Okay. So you can see we're getting the text to speech file in this URL. All right. So whenever you look at the URL closely, then you will see a name which uh, like which will define the voice name for the AI. And there is a text type of variable where we need to provide our prompt so that the text to speech file will be generated. So now let us automate this thing from Python. All right, so let me import request at first. And let me create a function called speak, which will take our text as a parameter. All right. So now let me define a base URL. So we need to provide name and text along with this thing in the URL. So this is our base URL. So let me copy this URL at first. All right. So this is our base URL. And now let me define a variable called params. All right, so if we look at the query, I mean, this URL, we need to pass name and the text parameter. All right, so let me write name. Wait a second. Name will be, we copy the name from the URL, write this one. And text will be text all right so now we need to convert this parameter into the url form so that we can send it in that url by using the request model so let me write encoded param equals we need to import a new model i mean module called import url library dot parts Okay, so let me write from import URL encode. All right, so here we need to call that function URL encode and pass the params. All right, now let us create a URL in the formatted string. So, first of all, there will be the base URL and a question mark, and then encoded your uh, parents all right all right so now everything is done let us send a get message so let me write response equals the request 
dot get and then URL. All right. So after sending the, uh, this get method, we will see some interface like this, where we will got this MP3 file and other thing as well in a JSON file, which we don't need. There are two approaches: either to create an output file and we'll play that file, or we're going to create a file in computer memory and run that file immediately. So we're going to take the second approach from where we're going to create a file in computer memory so that the text to speech conversion will be much faster. All right. So to do that, we are going to use a model. So we will use PyGAM to play the audio and we will use from IO import PyDio to store the file. I mean, the store the MP3 file in computer memory. All right. So first of all, let us initialize the PyGAM mixer. PyGAM dot mixer dot initialize. All right. So now let us load the mix. Uh, I mean, music PyGAM dot mixer dot music dot load byte io and inside the parameter we need to provide response dot content content all right and now let us play that thing pygame dot mixer dot music music dot live that was uh, while while pygame dot mixer dot music dot get busy dot ten seconds so you can add this it according to your need all right all right so now we're good to go so let me call the function with the text hello my name is Jarvis we go on terminal a new terminal all right hello my name is Jarvis all right so you can see it is working absolutely fine and we got the realistic voice for our ai all right so yeah that's much for this today's video i hope you found this video helpful and in this video we have learned how we can make our virtual assistant to convert the text into a speech uh, as a whole we have given our virtual assistant the property to speak in realistic voice and in the upcoming video we're going to add more feature to make it more amazing and cool so I want you all to be connected in this series by hitting the subscribe button and I'll catch you in upcoming videos. Till then take care. Bye-bye.